Hello, George Romanic here. Today I will talk about Giovanni Solari. Giovanni Solari was a professor of structural and wind engineering at the University of Genova in Italy, and unfortunately he passed away on 19 November 2020. Professor Solari was one of the greatest wind engineers of our modern era, if not the greatest, and uh, he made many groundbreaking contributions in this field. Since I was uh, fortunate and blessed uh, to work with this uh, great man, I would like to share some of my experiences with, uh, that I had with Professor Solari, and I would like to highlight some of his main contributions to this field in uh, today's video. One video is not enough, really, it's not enough to uh, point out all contributions that he made across the field of wind engineering, but I will try to uh, isolate some of the main uh, seminal papers that he published in this field. And uh, many of uh, uh, his papers and contributions will be discussed in details in some of my future videos, because they really changed the way wind engineering is. I first met uh, Professor Giovanni Solari on 8 December 2014, when I was a new PhD student at the University of Western Ontario in uh, Canada. I uh, did my research under the supervision of Professor Jorge Hangan, and on that day, together uh, with uh, my colleagues, namely PhD and master students, we went to listen Professor Solari's presentation. At that time, to be honest, I didn't know who Professor Solari is, and uh, I went there without any expectation, just one more presenter. However, the moment he started presenting, uh, all of us were so, so impressed by his immense knowledge, enthusiasm and uh, charisma he had. Uh, his, he was really knowledgeable in the field of uh, engineering, physics, mathematics, and uh, you could immediately see that from his uh, presentations and the confidence he had presenting uh, very complex uh, subjects. So I remember at the end of that presentation, uh, after the conclusions, he said, uh, well, in the meantime, I uh, applied uh, for some grants that will allow me to continue doing this research. Uh, and the research was on thunderstorm winds and their influence on structures. And uh, then a few seconds after that, he said, well, even if I don't get these grants and money, I will still continue doing this research. It just shows you how passionate uh, he was about research and how great of a person and scientist he was. Then uh, after uh, that presentation, I went back to my office with my colleagues and uh, Professor uh, Jorge Hangan actually brought Professor Giovanni Solari to our office to introduce him with his research group. And uh, at that time, I realized there will be collaboration between these two universities and research groups on the subject of uh, thunderstorm winds and their influences on uh, structures, namely thunderstorm wind engineering. And uh, probably because I, I was the only uh, meteorologist in uh, the research group of Professor Jorge Hangan, I was selected to uh, do research with the University of Genova and uh, collaborate with Professor Giovanni Solari. And that's how my collaboration with uh, him started. We published uh, with another co-authors three papers so far and a few more papers will be hopefully published in the near future. And uh, indeed, my uh, experience working with Professor Solari is absolutely uh, astonishing. He never left any stone unturned. He was so diligent a researcher who, uh, I mean, at the end of his life, I can say, carry out analysis, read papers, uh, solved integrals, differential equations. He was really, really passionate about research and uh, he loved the mathematical analysis and uh, uh, I, I enjoyed doing research with him, really I did. Uh, now I would like to share with you some of the main contributions uh, and main most important papers that Professor Solari published in the field of uh, wind engineering. In the early 80s, Professor Solari developed one of the first, if not the first, computer code to estimate uh, fluctuating and uh, mean wind loads due to a long wind and crosswind forces and turbulence, as well as forces uh, due to wake uh, excitation behind uh, structures. The model was called the WL3D, which means wind loading uh, 3D. Then in 1988, Professor Solari developed the so-called equivalent wind spectrum technique 
which is a mathematical model where wind is uh, represented as a stochastic stationary Gaussian process made up of mean speed profile uh, superimposed by equivalent turbulence fluctuations perfectly coherent in space. In 2015, Professor Solari uh, extended uh, this uh, equivalent wind spectrum technique to non-stationary and transient thunderstorm winds. So in uh, two papers, well, rather in series of papers, he uh, presented a coherent analytical model for both stationary atmospheric boundary layer winds as well as uh, non-stationary thunderstorm winds. Everything was derived uh, in a closed form and if you are following Giovanni's work, then you will notice that many of his theoretical contributions ended up being closed form solutions. And therefore, his research has great uh, applicability in uh, uh, building codes and wind loading recommendations uh, around the world. In 1993, Professor Solari published two papers in uh, which he proposed a unified uh, definition of gust factors. He found, uh, once again, closed form solution to estimate peak wind velocities and the equivalent pressures by introducing a new general expression of the power spectrum in the along wind uh, direction. Then in the period uh, between 1996 to 2002, together with uh, Professor Giuseppe Picardo, uh, Professor Solari, developed a closed form solution once again to estimate three-dimensional wind excited responses of slender structures. Uh, the model is heavily used in practice today. Then in 2001, Professor Solari, together with Professor Giuseppe Picardo, again uh, published a model of atmospheric turbulence suited for analyzing 3D gust excited response of structures. And the uh, model is equally suitable for uh, reliability analysis and propagation of uh, uncertainties. Between 2011 and 2014, uh, Professor Solari, with several collaborators, also developed an uh, iterative Monte Carlo algorithm for simulating long-term mean wind velocity histories that uh, properly reproduce both the wind probability density function as well as uh, turbulence spectra of wind. Then in 2012, together with Professor Maria Pierre Petro, Giovanni Solari developed the first theoretical concept of uh, uh, fatigue loads to structures exerted by uh, wind. Professor Solari was an amazing teacher. Uh, I attended his course on wind engineering three times because uh, his teaching was just amazing. Uh, I remember when he taught a uh, course at the University of uh, Western Ontario in Canada, the classroom was full of uh, undergraduate, uh, graduate students, as well as faculty members that came to listen to his uh, lectures. Uh, one of the reasons is uh, that uh, he really had great ability to explain complex things in really simple words. And I believe the reason is that he really, really understood all concepts of wind engineering perfectly well. And uh, it was a pleasure listening to his uh, lectures and talks. Professor Solari in 2020, also, uh, rather in 2019, published uh, his book, uh, Wind Science and Engineering, uh, that you can find uh, online. I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. It's the best book uh, uh, in the field of uh, wind engineering today. And it's not just a book on uh, wind engineering. It's a book that will give you an amazing overview of uh, wind science from different perspectives, na perspectives namely atmospheric sciences, wind engineering, uh, different uh, sectors of uh, civil engineering, uh, and so on. So if you are interested in wind research, then uh, this is one of the best books uh, out there. In terms of awards, Professor Solari received all awards in the fields of uh, wind and structural engineering. Uh, he is a modern giant of uh, wind engineering. He received uh, Jack Chermak, uh, Robert uh, Scanlan and Alan Davenport uh, awards. To my knowledge, he is the only person to receive these three awards. In fact, he is the first recipient of the Alan G. Davenport award. Of course, there are other researchers rec receiving uh, these awards, but to my knowledge, Perhaps uh, I'm wrong, but to my knowledge, he's the only person that received all three of them. And these three awards are the greatest, uh, I mean, the biggest awards in the field of wind engineering that a person can uh, get. 
as I said, uh, many of his research uh, contributions uh, ended up in a national and international building codes, such as the American Civil Engineering Code, as well as Euro Code. Uh, so the safety of your homes and other structures is in large part uh, due to research carried out by Professor Giovanni Solari at the University of Genova. I could talk many more hours and days about Professor Solari, but I will finish here and I will thank Professor Solari for many advices on uh, teaching and research. Uh, I will do my best to follow them and uh, I will always be so proud to be able to put in my CV that I was postdoctoral associate of Professor Giovanni Solari. Uh, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video where we are continuing our atmospheric science series. Thank you. Many excellent students came from this university. E allora incominciai a cercare libri e passai quasi 5 mesi a studiare matematica per poter applicare questi procedimenti al vento fino a quando sviluppai un programma di calcolo con il quale riuscì anche a calcolare il comportamento al vento di una ciminiera. Poi confrontai i miei risultati con quelli della letteratura americana, ma purtroppo non tornavano. Passai ancora due mesi a cercare disperatamente l'errore, poi pensai che mi stavo laureando su una materia tanto astrusa e complicata che mai e poi mai la commissione di laurea si sarebbe accorta che mi laureavo con una tesi sbagliata. Mi presentai e... fino a che trovai che l'errore era una radice di due. Però se non sbagliavo qualcosa, l'errore non era mio, ma era degli americani. E questo fece, già l'anno dopo pubblicavo la prima soluzione matematica delle azioni del vento sulle costruzioni, tuttora presente in quasi tutte le normative internazionali. Il web in particolare è developing now, a very important, perhaps the most important European project aiming to study wind action due to thunderstorms. We are a big group inside the University of Genova. We have many student master, PhD students, postdoc. I am working on the downburst winds. This is the classical equation of motion. X is the along with displacement, V is the velocity. We introduce a so-called reduced velocity U and a so-called reduced displacement D. By means of these two definitions, the equation of motion is rewritten in this way and uh, we introduce the definition of thunderstorm response spectrum as the maximum value of the modulus of, uh, the, of uh, the reduced displacement. Uh, it is very easy to show that uh, once you have this quantity, you can evaluate the maximum value of the response as the peak static displacement multiplied by the response spectrum while the equivalent static force is the peak static force multiplied by the response spectrum.